folks. Austin and I are still hanging out in the kitchen today working on making that garden Italian stew, and I got distracted by science. So let's check it out. Here I have two eggplants from our garden where we peeled the calyxes off. And you can see where the calyxes were because they're the lighter part of the eggplant. Here's one that we haven't peeled. Let's do it together. Here's the calyx. As you peel it off, the skin of the eggplant underneath is much lighter. Look at that. That is really cool. It kind of reminds me a bit of that sun print paper. Maybe you've ever used that before. You set it outside in the sun and you place some objects on top of it and the paper reacts with the sun to change color. And then when you pick the objects off, it leaves a different color behind. That got me thinking because I don't know why the bits of the eggplant that are underneath the calyx aren't colored. But my guess, my hypothesis, is that something happens when the skin of the eggplant contacts the sun or when the sun's rays come crashing down on the eggplant and that causes the skin to get darker. That's my hypothesis. That is my scientific guess. I think that that makes sense because when I look at all of the eggplants, they are all lighter where the calyx was covering them up. And as you get closer to the edge of the calyx, where maybe a little bit of sun could have snuck in, they tend to be a little bit darker there. And up towards the top where it was totally covered, that's where it's the lightest. So to my brain, that makes sense. This means I have to do an experiment because now I need to know. So if you have things in your garden growing, maybe this experiment will make you think of some ideas, some things you'd like to try. And if not, you can follow along with me and we'll see what we discover. So I'm thinking, what would happen if I took an eggplant as it was just barely starting to grow, when the calyx was still covering it completely before any of it had started to see the sun? What if I put a little bag over it, like a bag made of good thick fabric that'll keep out the sun's rays, and let it grow, and just left it on its own until it, you know, grew big enough that it started to push against the bag? And then I want to look in there and peek at it and see if I managed to create an eggplant that didn't hit, get the sun and didn't get the color. And what's awesome is if it gets this color anyway, I will know that either I did a bad job keeping out the sun or it isn't the sun that makes the eggplant change. So I'm going to get that set up sometime in the next couple days and we'll check back in together on how it's going later. This would be a great time for you to think of some science you can do. If you're not sure, I encourage you to put down all your devices, all your paper, all your anything, maybe just bring some water with you if it's hot, and go wander around in your yard and just look at stuff. Set a 15 minute timer and say, I am not coming back until I have looked at stuff for 15 minutes. If you look at things and notice the difference in parts of plants and what's going on, I can almost promise that you will be able to come up with a question that you might be able to answer. And if not, ask around your house. Say, hey, parent slash sibling slash grandparent slash whoever happens to be around my house, will you come wander outside with me and help me think of science? Have a good day. We'll check back in in a bit. And I miss y'all. Bye.